Hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this special episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We are all excited to get back to racing, so let's get right to it. Caden Honeycutt made his late model stock debut with Justin Johnson Racing at Florence Motor Speedway for the 2021 125 lap icebreaker. Caden qualified fourth and brought home a fifth place finish in a race that only saw one caution. We're excited to announce that Caden will run full time for Justin Johnson Racing in the Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour beginning March 6th at Dillon Motor Speedway. Joey East made the long trip from Madera, California to Daytona Beach, Florida to make his debut in the Arkham Menard Series East opener with DGR at New Smyrna Speedway on Monday night for the 175 lap Jeep Bash. It did not take long for the young 17 year old driver to get up to speed qualifying in third. On the start of the race, the car in front of him missed a gear and checked up most of the field, sending Joey back to 11th. From that point on, Joey put on a passing clinic, picking off car after car, putting himself in second place at the halfway break. Some confusion on how and when cars were permitted to pit put Joey in fourth for the restart. Joey ran in the top five for the remainder of the race after a lengthy rain delay and two green-white checkered restarts, bringing home a fifth place finish. Up next for Joey, Arkham Menards at Five Flags Speedway on February 27th. Staying at New Smyrna Speedway for the World Series of Asphalt Stock Car Racing, where we find two of our race face drivers, Jesse Love and Connor Mozak. Both drivers are competing for Wimmer Motorsports in seven races over nine days in the super late model division. Both team Wimmer cars were fast in every practice session over the first five races, with two races remaining, one tonight and the 100 lap finale on Saturday. Let's now look at the results for the first five races. Starting off with Jesse Love, who was returning for his second time in the World Series. On night one, Jesse qualified eighth, raced his way to fifth before something in the engine let go, ending his night early. On to race two. Team Wimmer spent all night and into the early morning hours replacing the engine. Heavy rains on Saturday forced the cancellation of qualifying and Jesse had to start 19th as the field was set off of race one results. Jesse raced his way to 14th in just 35 laps. On to race three. Jesse was P1 in qualifying, but had to start eighth with the invert and came home sixth in the race. Race number four, Jesse qualified third, had to start fourth with the invert and raced his way to a second place finish. Now on race number five, Jesse qualified six, started six, and scored another podium, finishing third. On another note, Jesse was selected seventh in the Chris Mitchell's top 50 NASCAR prospects for 2021 and was the youngest driver on that list. Congratulations, Jesse. Jesse will return to the ARCA Racing Series West to defend his 2020 championship starting on March 12th at Phoenix International Raceway. Connor Mozak is making his second appearance at the World Series, but his first in a super late model. On night one, Connor was first in practice and backed that up with a top 10 qualifying starting in ninth and raced his way to a top five finish. On night two, Connor started second due to qualifying being rained out and had a great race in only his second super late model start and brought home a second place finish. On to night three, where Connor qualified 10th and brought home a 12th place finish. Race number four is a 50 lap race and Connor struggled a little bit in qualifying starting 20th and finished the race in 17th. Connor quickly rebounded for race number five and put his number 28 Nick Taylor Camry P10 for the start and raced his way to his second second place finish. Connor will be competing in the Trans Am TA2 series 
full time in 2021 for Scott Lagacy Racing's Team SRL. He will also run some selected ARCA races as well. Up next for Connor, after the World Series is completed, is Trans Am at Sebring International on February 20th and 21st. Gavin Graham was at Auburndale Speedway in his double zero legend car for the INEX Winter Nationals, which started on February 8th and will run through February 12th. For race one, Gavin qualified fifth out of 30 cars and ended the night bringing home a second place finish. For race number two, he just thought, I'll repeat, and he brought home another second place finish. On to race number three. The young Lakeland, Florida driver was tired of finishing second and parked his double zero in victory lane. With two races left, Gavin currently leads the points by 32. Is it time to points race? We'll have to see. Not sure that that driver wants anything short of victory lane. After the Winter Nationals, Gavin will return to Auburndale Speedway, but this time he'll be back in his pro truck on February 27th. Carter Whalen competed at the Metro Atlanta Quarter Midget Association's Peach State Winter Series on Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, Carter brought home two wins in heavy Honda and also in heavy 160. And then he did it again on Sunday. Two more wins for the fourth race in the sixth race series. That's eight wins in a row. That's a clean sweep. Up next for Carter, round three of the Peach State Winter Nationals on February 20th. Anthony Alfredo will be making his NASCAR Cup Series debut for Front Row Motorsports on Sunday in the Daytona 500. Good luck, Anthony. We'll all be pulling for you. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel from your favorite race face driver. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham, thanks for watching.